run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Aphorion. All right, guys, we're picking up where we left off. Thank you guys for stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share this or other check it out. Hit me in the comment box, guys. Any info, any tips, always appreciate it. Love y'all opinion. Love to hear it on this game. Man, check this out. Love the activity and like the real world is going on. You see this shit flying off. It was just docked. Uh, you know, it's in the tractor beam. You see these other ones going. Man, this game is very addictive. Take my word for it if you like these types of games. All right, so this is the shipyard. This is the shipyard. We're gonna build our first ship. Um, I'm gonna interact with it. Just wanna make sure trade goods. Okay, now they don't have why I can hire some people. I wanted to stay near it so I could hire uh, some workers. Now you build the ship here, and actually if you build here or you repair here, let me just tell you that there are extra, um, you save money repairing your ship here. Now I'm still gonna build my ship right outside of here, but I'm staying here close so I can hire. Um, they have different crew types. You wanna get specialists. Now I can't see them, but I'm thinking that maybe because I haven't built the ship, it's not giving me the option to hire. So I believe you have to start your first ship building before they even give you the option to hire yet. Cause I believe I could have also hired some at our original resource depot that we sold and traded some of the resources at in the first episode. All right, let me know in the comments if you know that to be true, but we're going to find out because we're going to build. Look at that, another ship coming in, tractor and in. That's crazy. Okay, so far as resources, we have 5,000 iron and we have 3,000 titanium. Uh, collected some, sold a little bit to make some extra money. Now, you have to found your first ship. So if you hold shift, that gives you free mouse controls. And you click up here, bam, found ship. So this first ship is going to be called the Macromen. For Macro Mini, for my little dude. But also because it's the first one in the fleet. So it's going to be small. Of course, it's going to grow. I would call it something like Destroyer or something, but it's not the Destroyer yet. So it's going to be the Macromen. That will be our first ship. Okay. The turning speed is poor. Now they start you with a block. And if you go on the shipyard, that's one of the things about the shipyard. Let me show you this. If we go to the shipyard and we hit build ship, you can actually build pre-made ships. So here you can see some of the designs. This is one of the good parts of going to the shipyard. If you're not a builder, you don't want to worry about building. You can do that here. They have different options. So that was pretty cool. It already has generators. It has some of the different parts that we'll look at that helps you to build a solid ship. You can add the crew. I believe it costs a little more than hiring them separately. You can choose the type of carrier, a freighter, a miner, and then just a regular ship. What you would wanna do if you wanna do what I just did, click single block if you wanna build it here and it'll be a single block that you start from. Not sure what seed is. Somebody let me know in the comments if you're familiar with what seed is. And then you also can make it depending on what resources you have. It'll go ahead and make it with that type of resource and that starting block. We only have iron and titanium, so we're gonna start there but just wanted you to see how the shipyard works if you want to build and you can scale the ship up to make it bigger or smaller if we go back from single block let's go back so yeah you can scale this and as you see the cost will go up but it'll make it like a huge much huger ship all right so we're clicking out of that and what you do you hit b and B starts you in the build mode. Now you see the arrow to let you know what direction you're building in. You right click and you can scan around. They start you with a couple turrets. You get a lot of these, you can buy them. You can actually salvage them. Uh, we're gonna look for a wreck yard early. Wreck yards are dope. Uh, Cause you can go in there and you can just, it's like a junkyard basically. You can pull parts off of old cars or basically old ships in this case, all right? Now, if you hold, if you click here, you can see the blocks. You also can, can press G to see your different blocks. You can match block with ship. You can match the shape with control. Um, you can transform blocks with alt. Lots of little key things that you can do. Select all blocks of a current type, transform, show size, blah, blah, blah. And then of course they have like mirroring things. They have things you can do with the grid, different types of controls, okay? also can hold space bar and it will bring this up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull some down on our hot bar. We're gonna pull down the hull. So blank hull, iron armor. We're not gonna worry about armor yet. We're gonna worry about the engine. 
Now, I actually want to use some titanium engines because they're a little bit more efficient and you'll see some of the differences. Uh, but we're going to do a cargo bay, crew quarters, thrusters. Now, you have the iron thruster and it thrusts in all six directions of the cube. Then you have directional thrusters that will do in one direction, really two on the opposite sides of the block, but it's just one uh, direction. So we're not going to do directionals yet. We're going to do these gyro arrays. It increases your rotational speed. You can use those early, but thrusters will help do that too. And then inertia dampeners, they create an artificial subspace friction. So it's kind of like helping with your braking. So we're going to put an inertia dampener down here. I'm going to put down these frameworks. You have docks, you have turret rotations, flight recorders, iron assemblies. Some of these is joints I don't really understand quite yet. I gotta get a little more familiar with. Mark ship of destruction on the map. Okay, I should probably do that. When it blows up, you can find it to go get the resources. Okay, you got torpedo launchers. You will get torpedoes launched at you. Torpedo storage, turret base. This is so you can sit your turrets on it if I'm not mistaken. You got solar panels to help with some energy. And then you go, as you scroll down, it goes into your different ones. You don't even have to click it, but you can to filter. But the next one, these are your titanium. Most of these are similar, but with titaniums, you actually can add the energy generator. Then you have these energy containers. I believe these are like batteries. And up here, these gives you a little indication. Our yaw is bad. Our yaw, our pitch, our roll. Uh, acceleration is very low. And we need more thrust. You need thrusters. You need like the booster type joints. You, know, you need the engines and then you need your thrusters. Now, if you look over here to the right, these are your stats of your ship. Okay, you start with the 500 generated energy. Then if you need more than that, you have to put generators in there. The storable energy is 20 GJs. I believe that's gigajoules. Let me know in the comments if that's if incorrect what that means. You have your required energy. So right now for this block, we're only using four of 500. You got your yaw, your left and right, your pitch, your up and down, your roll, firepower, max velocity, your acceleration, and your deceleration. There are different points that you may want to hit uh, to get these a certain way, and we'll, we'll pay attention. So when you put blocks down, you see how much it actually adds or subtracts. Now, you may not have any titanium. If you don't, you're going to have to make a small ship that stays within this generated area. I'm going to start with a titanium generator. Now, you see it costs 600. It takes 50 titanium, and you see it adds 1 HP to the hull. It adds 82.5 megawatts to the generated energy. It's 40 ton mass. It's a thousand in volume and the processing power goes up. Now, if you hold A, you can make it go like this on that axis. If you hold S, you can go that way. And if you hold D, you can go that way. So that's how you manipulate the size. Shift is match the block. So to match the block size, control will match the shape and alt will change this block so in the future we're going to put some different things like these frameworks and you can actually transform it to a different one whatever shape you select it so say i want to take this from iron to titanium all i got to do is hold it and it will transform it which is really cool or to transform it to whatever block we're using so those are some really cool options now also they have these grid size but you can do a local snap, you can do a global snap, you can do a middle snap. I'm going to do a middle snap for now. And they have a lot of tools. They also had a mirroring. You can see turrets, block damage. You can only show certain materials. You can only show certain blocks. You can scale the whole ship once you build it a certain way. Man, it's so many things that you can do. But I want to keep it as even as possible. So again, we're going to do this one in the middle. I don't want to take too much money, but I do want this generator to give us a lot more power. So it's giving us an extra gigawatt, which is great. So that'll give us 1500. And let me see. I think I'm going to take that a little further. So that's 600 titanium. That's 7,500 in cost. That should give us a nice amount of energy for now. Bam. Put that in the center. Nice, 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 nice. And it's connected to our main block. So we still have 2,000 titanium left. I may use some titanium engines. I may wait and just upgrade later. I'm going to put a little bit of cargo on here just because I want some cargo. You can see the cargo hold that adds 5.3. 
I'm gonna make it a little bulkier. I'm gonna bring it back to the two to match that front block. Doesn't cost a ton. And that'll add some distance as well. So I'm gonna make it four. So it's two by two by four, 450 in call, 445 and 200 iron. And it gives us a 27 cargo hold. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some crew quarters. Now, I'm sure people have different ways or areas where they wanna put or place their items. I'm gonna put this crew quarter right here in the front. Okay, that increased us to 24 crew. Now we're gonna need some more as we add different things as we grow this ship. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cargo bay right here behind this. Hopefully with our crew up front, they won't get blowed up first. Usually tell the increase. Okay, it'll increase our cargo hold by 27.6. Our hold will go up to 64. Uh, more mass, more volume. Go ahead and put that there. Now with your gyro array, this will add to our roll the way that's going. We want it to, we want that to change. Okay, so that will add to our pitch. And then if we do it again, that's roll, that's pitch. Uh, that will add to our yaw. So we really only wanna do some yaw and some pitch initially. We're not gonna worry about roll. We'll try to make roll happen with our thrusters. Now these are kind of heavy. These are actually very heavy. So they slow things down a bit. Let me see if I can make that a little, a little smaller. Okay, these are separate blocks. All right, I'm gonna let the gyro ray match. So I'm gonna do this like this initially. Actually, let me take this middle snap off. Let's do the global snap. I'm gonna mirror this on the Y axis and we're gonna make it so it's on the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna just put it half towards the back Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna mirror it because I want one to do one. So I want the y'all to be on the top. And then I want this one to be pitch. So let's rotate it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So R for rotate. Okay, so now that's pitch. It's still basically the same dimension. So we're gonna put that under here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that matches. So that should help with that there. I might do some inertia dampeners. I might not. I am going to add some framework though. I'm gonna still make it be a two by two with the framework. Cool thing about frameworks is they can be upgraded and changed into things as well as we grow this ship. So if we wanna add more generators, if we wanna add more crew or cargo, you can do that with the framework. So I'm gonna mirror this on the X. We'll do that there. Do that there. I may put some in the in, in the middle uh, just to kind of fill these in, just to kind of protect it. But we're gonna put our thrusters on the outside here. So I, I could do some titanium thrusters. I'm gonna save those for now. Now the thing with thrusters is, depending on how big you make them, you see our deceleration increases a lot because we can go forward and backwards. Our roll increases a lot. But that's because the flatter or larger part is on the front and back. Now, if we do it like this and make this slimmer, then you see our yaw goes down. Roll still improves a little bit. Let's say we put it right here. You see there isn't any increase or decrease with yaw. The, ro the roll is about the same. You see the processing power goes up, system upgrade slots increases because of that from two to three. And let's see, that's only a thousand, that's 470. So I'll probably upgrade those eventually. Two by two, eh, we might keep it all two, so. Uh, so this did improve our roll. So my deceleration plus 33. My acceleration hasn't went up a lot, but we do have good deceleration and roll. So I'm gonna do this like this. I might should have made it a little skinnier, I don't know. But this what we gonna do. <laughs> this is what we gonna do. All right, and here in the rear, we're gonna put our thrusters. All right, and I actually kind of wanted to do my thrusters first instead of the dampeners, but that's okay. This how the ship turning out, this how it's gonna come out. Now, depending on your size of your thrusters, it's all based on volume, so I could make it shorter. Our acceleration is 98, negative six deceleration, but as I make it bigger, the maximum velocity, the yaw is decreasing. The required energy is going up a lot, as you see. Of course, the mass and the volume. So I think I'm gonna make this eight, two by two. 
I really want to know since it's only taking 800 I'm gonna see if I have enough to make a titanium thruster now you know what we're gonna keep this iron we're gonna do this iron and we'll do more upgrading of titanium later so we still have enough storable energy you want to have extra generated energy honestly you want to have extra so I may increase uh, what I have and I didn't really leave a lot of room for expansion of the generators but we'll figure that out we'll figure that out I'm gonna do my engines right here my thrusters I'm just trying to give it a little bit of style a little bit of style and we may increase here and maybe next time I make sure my framework goes all the way through I can keep increasing this these uh, generators so I'm gonna probably put them here when I increase them but I could have done it straight so again let me know any tips let me know any tips you may not want to block off both ends of your generator so you can make the generator longer if need be we added cargo we added crew now I like the way this looks now I may want to put some hulls in front of these to protect these from damage at least my crew so they don't get blown up when I'm going forward or maybe put a hull across the front of this hull across the back just for extra protection one thing I do want to do is with the thrusters you can cover up thrusters on this game they're not penalized uh, you're not penalized if you block the thrusters the devs didn't put that in there so that's okay to do if you would like I'm gonna use one of these directional thrusters and I'm just gonna put one on the front we'll make that a little smaller because this is gonna be the platform for my weapons I'm actually make it four so we'll do that and this is where I'm gonna put my weapons and I may expand it left and right also but we'll do that eventually or maybe with my hull so let's see I do want to put a little bit of protection so it's gonna be kind of thin we'll do a protective layer right there oh I did not mean to do that I did not mean to do that because I got it mirroring right now put a protective layer right there I'm gonna mirror this I want to put a protective layer on the front here I'll do another match and we'll put a protective layer so that's just a protective layer on the front so when we get any uh, front fire and I'm gonna match this too and I'll remove this when I expand but this is just to protect from front fire let me make sure that's gone yeah and it did decrease our acceleration a little bit but that's okay the other thing we want to do we're going to add our turrets now you start with two double chain gun turrets and you start with two iron mining turrets now you only have two slots but the way i increased it if we go to this menu with p i actually can see how many slots i have now you only start with two because i made this a little bigger than the normal starter one because you can make it really simple because i made this a little bigger i have a third slot and we'll actually add these different chips to it that can expand slots and give us more available but we don't have any right now but this gives you more available slots or boosters or things with shields so right now we can only do the two i just wanted to show y'all that right now we can either choose we only have two slots that we can use so we can do mining or chain or you can have one mining one chain now we're not going to face any enemies right now so i'm just going to use both our iron mining turrets okay and i got to take this middle snap back off to global snap now i can fit multiples on this i can fit one two three i may increase the size of this make it wide like a hammerhead shark or something but for now we're just going to put one here and we'll put the other one right here i still could put a weapon in between but again it's not going to allow me to if i try it's going to say oh i can't put my weapon on there oh ho, 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 ho. can i put the other one no not enough slots okay but that's still pretty cool i can have one weapon there and once we upgrade with some more chips that add on we'll put another one in there so, all right, that's cool that's cool that's cool all right so if you hit p you can go here and you can hot key your weapons so i put my weapons on one i put my mining turrets and you get salvaging turrets later on two that way i can switch them around 
Now we're gonna need more crew. So again, as you add more, if you make your ship simpler, you won't need as much. But I need four engineers, two gunners, four miners, two mechanics, and I need one sergeant. When you get, I believe it's like over 10 uh, crew people, because that's four, four, yeah. You'll need a sergeant. You need a sergeant for like every 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it says right there. You need one sergeant for every 10 employed crew members. Now, when you start, you may not add that many because you won't make your ship as big as I did. But if you follow what I did and you get more resources, you can make it a little uh, larger. Again, you only need about 2,000 to 4,000 to make a basic ship. So engineers, gunners, miners, mechanics. All right, so we are done with the basic design. We'll upgrade this some more later. Again, I might upgrade this and make this uh, thrusters, crew quarters. Um, I may make a framework and fill this whole thing in. I probably need to protect this on the inside with some hull, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should do it now, but I'm not going to, at least not to the next episode. I think it looks kind of interesting. There's also ways to color this. I actually rarely ever do the color. We might need the color. Okay, it's talking about fully repaired. Ah, these are the first colors that we start with. We don't have a ton. We'll go with some gold, probably some blue for macro. Eternal yellow. Wow, this is a nice palette. Star golden rod, eternal golden rod, golden rod. Hit that eternal golden rod. How much does it do? Oh, nice. We're gonna do our thrusters eternally golden. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, we done add the little goldness to our joint. Let's go on and do all this. What if I can save those? Okay, and then I wanna do, we're gonna do solar blue since we out here in spice. Solar blue, baby. Solar blue. Make our guns. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to do the guns. You can't paint the guns, I guess. Okay, we gonna leave that be for now. Ooh, baby, baby, that's a little ugly, but that's all right. We ain't out here to be pretty. We out here to take over Spice. All right, so we're going to go with that for now. So that's cool. So we are done. We are done with our initial ship design. Again, y'all hit me with any tips, some of y'all pro builders. So we have to go and add some of these miners to see if we need engineers, engineers, gunners, miners, mechanics. All right, cool. So we're gonna pull on in here. Oh yeah, it's moving pretty well, actually. It's moving pretty well. Let's see. Oh yeah, it turns good. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And let's see if we can actually hire crew now. Yes, yes. So you do actually have to build before you can hire your crew. Can I dock to that one? No, somebody else is already docking there. It's not going very fast, but again, it's because I don't have the crew yet. And what is this one saying? Hold on. Okay, my acceleration is slow because I don't have enough engineers. That's cool. That's cool. We about to fix that as soon as we able to dock right here. My computer does that every now and then to freeze them. This is my secondary rig. My main rig doesn't do that as much. All right, so let's hold F. Oops. Okay, we're docked. We are docked. So we want to hire crew. So this one has engineers. It has mechanics. It has miners. The last one we don't have. We're going to have to try a different area. But mechanics, it's the gunners. Let's see how many we need of each. Four engineers, four miners, two mechanics. So, four engineers, two mechanics, four miners. Sometimes I add, I get extra just so I don't have to come back later. But we ain't gonna worry about that for now. And sometimes I even just get extra crew. Now, you want these guys because they are specialists, right? And they're more efficient when you use them. 
Look at that, I got extras. I only bought four, right? Did I buy extra? Maybe I did and I didn't see it. Uh, I still need a sergeant. I need two gunners. You can use these crewmen. So if I click these, they will go up in the crewmen. Two of them will get two gunners. It will get two sergeants, but they won't be as efficient as these guys because they're already professionals. Oh, and the reason it had more is because these guys are so professional, they already level two. Since one is level two, he actually counts as two of them or a unit and a half. Okay, something like that. Something like that. I'm almost correct with it but they get better. They actually count for more when you get them. So I actually could have bought less, I guess. So you get more efficiency, which is up to 130. So we'll we'll receive that. So I'm gonna find a sergeant and a gunner. So let me look at this other area. What is that? Okay, that's a Corvette ship. This is an equipment dock. Now the equipment dock, if I wanted to start early, I could buy some of the upgrades for the ship. But what I wanna do is just see what type of crew they have. They do have gunners, so I can get some gunners from there. But I need sergeant, my morale will go down. They need somebody regulating, stopping them from acting crazy. Uh, so let's check the repair dock. Okay, I guess normally they don't think you're gonna hire that much crew in the beginning. So I may have to get a sergeant. Let me check up here. This repair dock crew. I may have to use a sergeant just from regular crew. He won't be the best sergeant. And then when we get to an area that has some actual real sergeants, I'll upgrade him. I'll get a real one and I'll turn him back to crew. So I believe this equipment dock did have gunners. So let's go on over here. Now, when I just go regular, my speed is up to 600. You see that? The, the um, drone only boosted to 300. And then if I boost, Woo, look at that. But you gotta be able to stop. Oh, you gotta be able to stop. Am I stopping? No. So sometimes you actually gotta boost and you gotta turn around and boost in the other direction just to stop. Because you will run into stuff. You will blow your ship up. I have done it quite a few times. But this is actually a really good maneuverable ship. This is one of the better ones <laughs> that I've made so far. You will blow your ship up though. Please believe it, it's gonna happen. I did it like the first time I played, I was cracking up. All right, so I believe we needed, what, two gunners? I'm going to start with two. And let's look real quick. Okay, and it gave us three because, again, they're professional. Uh, because they're specialists, it gives you extra boost, so that's cool. So we actually have extras for when we upgrade. And I'm going to have to use a regular crewman for this sergeant. So when we again get to another station area, we'll get another with the sergeant. So now, now that our joint is ready to go, we can go and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go mine a couple asteroids real quick just to test this out. Oh man, this thing is very functional. And I gotta get used to doing like barrel rolls and stuff cause it's Z and X. So it's kind of uncomfortable where it is. Now I'm gonna turn off, so you can shoot the asteroids, but we don't wanna destroy it. So I'm gonna turn off my gunner pressing one. Now I can just mine. And these mine quicker and more efficiently than the drone was doing. If you click on it using your mouse wheel as a button, it'll let you select. That's how you select the different stations or the asteroids. And that's how you see the uh, life meter down there. So you know how much each of those sections that you're destroying uh, takes away and it also focuses on it if you don't have it selected you kind of got to make sure you're aiming and it won't focus now I'm gonna show you one thing we're gonna look at the little equipment before we go I do want to look at that all right cool and let's actually step back look at our ship y'all look at this look at this <laughs> ah, it's interesting it's interesting and it moves pretty well, it moves pretty well. Let's see, left and right. We strafe okay. Strafing could be a little better. We may add some uh, real directionals for that. And stopping ain't great. We may have to pull a super turnaround, boost stop. Hit him with that Michael J. Fox. But I'm liking this, I'm liking this.
Okay, now the other thing you should know before we, I'm gonna go back to the equipment. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, it's up here. Okay, now one thing you should know about your your turrets. Your turrets, let's say everything is still defined by these resources, these material types, even your turrets. So these are double chain guns. Their material is iron. Okay, so when you're using them, you can only mine one material above what it is. So iron can mine iron and titanium. Iron, it'll it'll do the best. It'll lose some efficiency with titanium. Titanium can do titanium and nanite. Um, it'll be more efficient with iron. So we'll say if it's 100% for titanium, be 120 for iron. This is just me uh, estimate. It's not exactly correct, but it'll be 80 for nanite. Nanite's the same way. 100% for nanite, 80 for trinium. Uh, 120 for titanium and it'll be like 140 for iron so once you get to Vorion you'll smash through iron and you'll smash through all of these but again you can't you can only go one up so titanium won't even be able to mine trinium and it's the same thing when you're salvaging if the ship is made out of a resource that's way above your grade more than one level it won't mine it so you got to remember that you also got to be careful to not shoot other ships. You know, this ship's sitting here chilling. You know, they eating, you know what I'm saying? Having some lunch and whatnot. You got to be careful or you'll lose favor with that faction. That was one of the things I wanted to look at too, the faction system. But we'll look at factions. Uh, is this Yes, this is the one I want to go to. So we're going to go here. We're going to dock real quick. Is that a dock on this side? Yes. Trying to get that tractor beam to activate sometimes be wonky. You be having to get real close. There we go. So I'm gonna show you the ship upgrades real quick. So again, you hit P. This is your ship menu. So we can see all the stats of our ship. See our gunners, you can assign the hotkeys. You see your crew, you see your systems. You see your cargo. Got a little bit of cargo, whole space, uh, 27.56 your energy you can look through that understand that see what all your systems are using uh, we don't have a hangar yet we don't have torpedoes and this is co-op controls as you add extra person to help ship steering do things with ship i don't totally understand this allow this player to control weapon groups if we had two people in here playing we can control different parts of the ship with the systems i'm going to show you how we can buy some other things real quick well, we'll either do that, but we're going to try to salvage it. We're not going to really spend any money just yet. But if you go to trade equipment, like we traded the goods before, you'll see these different ones. You see upgrades. Now, they have special offers, so there'll be 30% discounts on different ones, um, different equipment. But you got battery upgrades. The things we're going to look for first are these turret controls because we want more turrets. The more turrets you have, you have armed one and you have unarmed one. The armed ones are going to mainly be... Uh, your weapons the unarmed ones usually are going to apply to um the mining or salvaging turrets so we're going to do some of this but we're going to try to salvage it instead of actually having to buy it we'll buy them when we have a more money and we see a good deal on a rare one because it's an ex exceptional um these are uncommon you have rare um you have a blue one so and then they even have things with trading with energy with traveling with the quadrant map because we also want to be able to boost more it'll open up the map for you of course we can sell items we can buy back to old items okay so again that's a look at some of the equipment that you can add and this is look at our new ship it is maneuverable it is doing well I'm proud of it but yeah give me any tips any info on the ship and things I can do to make it better even if it's like location if it's how much you use because I'm still learning it's still new but I'm gonna go ahead here and mine uh-oh 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 look I'm about to blow my joint up already let me slow down I might have to put some inertia dampeners on here to slow this one down oh look at that now you see <laughs> I blew up a thruster already <laughs> Oh man, I done blew off a thruster already. Wow. Well, I'm finna go down here to a repair dock. Let's go down here to a repair dock because I blew off a thruster already. Now, when you blow off a thruster, I did that on purpose to show you guys. If you go back to build mode, you can go over here and hit repair. It will repair for 1,500 credits, 434 iron, 
53 titanium you see it's in red it shows you what is blown up or you can discard it or repair it now i believe it's either a shipyard let's see repair dock okay you can go to the shipyard and they also have what they're called is just repair yard let me see if I was gonna look on the sector map, but I don't wanna do that yet. We're gonna we're gonna do that in the next one. But yeah, they have just straight up repair yards. I don't think one of those is here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna boost on up here to the shipyard. That slows us down a little bit. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, you see so you definitely need inertia dampeners or you need better thrusters going forward to stop you from wrecking yourself <laughs> like I did huh, okay so again get to show you something early so to repair here it's 1200 315 and 37 1200-315-37 to do it myself it was 1500-416-49 so you save quite a bit repairing here so we're gonna go ahead and repair and you see it got our ship back to what it was <laughs> so now i'm gonna go ahead and mine and i'm gonna get out of here before i blow <laughs> something else up so you definitely got to be aware and we may add some inertia dampeners in the next one but we're gonna get ready to start warping around we're gonna leave this area i'm gonna do some small mining but then we're gonna get to exploring the galaxy all right so guys hit me in the comment box make sure you like like for me guys hit that like button make sure you subscribe share if you haven't so guys, make sure you like for me. Hit that like button, help get these videos out. And if you like these new dope indie games, all right, that are releasing, uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed. Hit me in that comment box, all right? And that way, if you subscribe, you can keep up because I'm gonna give away some keys and some things coming up, okay? And hit me in the comment. Heck on it. All right, guys, so go ahead and like, hit that like button for me. You know that definitely helps the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like and subscribe, it helps you keep up. And I'm also going to give away some keys. Like I said, I have an extra key for this. Uh, so you can keep up with what's going on. Maybe when you're free, when if you're interested in the game. All right, share this so others can check this out as well. Again, that definitely helps with the exposure. Um, and so other people can find out about this. And hit me in that comment box, man. I always love y'all's feedback. Well, let me know what you think about the game so far, okay? This is a really dope and interesting game. So let me know. And any tips, any info, it is always, always appreciated, guys. Uh-oh. And any tips, any info. All right, guys. So make sure you like like hit that like button that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're not subscribed you can keep up again i have an extra key and i may get some more i'm gonna do some giveaways may hit up the devs and um you know help you keep up with the channel what's going on share this so others can check this out as well learn about these new indie games i definitely support man if you like these new indie titles and just these different games that we play all right and again hit me in that comment box you know i always love your feedback any tips, any info, it is always appreciated as we grow with these games, man, because they are just complex. There's a lot going on. So, man, you guys always help me, and I really do appreciate everybody who drops those comments and shows that love. All right. So, we'll be back in the next one. We're going to go and hit that set, and we're going to travel a little bit. I'm going to do some more grinding and getting some resources off camera so we can do some expanding. And we're going to see what we find out here in this galaxy. All right. Charles Macro, Avorion. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm a holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game.